I started working as a butcher when I left high school, probably around 18 or 19. I went along, had no idea what I was getting myself into. I guess in the first two weeks I became completely desensitised to the way we treat animals. They're just seen as a commodity, um, pretty much cost per kilo. Is after watching a lot of the footage that even was hidden to me as a butcher, I noticed that the way the animals are treated is absolutely shocking. We should be treating animals a hell of a lot better than we do at the moment. Some of the shocking things I've noticed through my career in the butchering in Australia is quite a bit of the meat comes through in boxes, cryvacked. That's something that might shock a lot of people is that your meat isn't put out on the shelf that day. It actually does sit around for a few weeks, if not months. You just got to be careful, you don't really know what you are buying, unfortunately. There's quite a lot of cysts and cancer that come through the supply chain. It's impossible for the abattoirs to remove all these cysts and tumours that come through because it's inside the carcasses, so we have to cut them out. But then a lot of the meat still gets put on the shelf, whether it be pork, chicken, beef. If consumers knew, I think it would probably, a lot would choose not to eat meat. Some people might argue, oh, it's manly to eat meat or masculine. You're actually doing the opposite. You're not being very manly because there's a lot of animals out there suffering. If you want to say that you're manly and strong, you should be sticking up for these animals. To have my daughter growing up, um, watching me as an example is a really positive thing for me. Um, she loves animals so much. That's probably one of the reasons why I changed myself, seeing how she interacts with them. By the time my daughter's my age, I'd definitely like to see the world has um, moved a hell of a lot more towards a plant-based diet. Not only for our health and well-being, but I think for the animals as well, they kind of deserve it.